there's lots of contact lens options out there. When you talk about soft contact lenses, there's the disposable contact lenses that most people wear, and those are either disposed on a monthly, a two-week, or a daily modality. And those are gonna fit your patients that can see well with glasses, but want to have the freedom from glasses, so you put them in contact lenses. So those people, people that are just either nearsighted or farsighted may have astigmatism, or may be presbyopic or need some help with their near vision. So those would all be pieces that would fall into the soft contact lens arena. Especially contact lenses are typically harder. They're called gas permeable or rigid gas permeable. So they, they sit on the eye and they don't flex and they come in a variety of sizes. They can be very small, which much smaller than the cornea, anywhere from eight millimeters all the way up to 18 or 20 millimeters. And those are, those are known as scleral contact lenses. And scleral contact lenses are a very specialty area in contact lens fitting because not everybody can do them, and it actually is kind of an art at fitting them, and they can provide very good comfort and vision for patients. Kind of reshapes the eye, actually creates a smooth tear film on top of the eye without reshaping the eye, because unfortunately if we tried to reshape the eye, we'd probably induce scarring and um, potentially worsen whatever disease process is going on, so we're, we're looking for a really good fit, or a fit that actually vaults over the entire, entire cornea, creates a smooth tear film, reduces those aberrations and defects, and actually provides better vision. Lots of patients end up needing specialty contact lenses, and the main areas of the patient's eye fit are someone that has some sort of disease of the cornea something that causes the cornea to become irregular. And in that irregularity, it actually causes the cornea to have aberrations or defects, and that can decrease the type of vision you can get by just traditional glasses. Also can occur after surgeries. If patients have corneal transplants, they have a lot of induced irregularity, scarring from an injury or from an infection. A lot of times those patients will need contact lenses afterwards. I see lots of patients that have astigmatism, have high amounts of astigmatism, have low amounts of astigmatism. And a lot of those patients say to me, I can't wear contact contact lenses, my doctor told me I couldn't wear contact lenses. And what I always tell them is, 20 years ago you were right, you probably couldn't. Today you can. There's been major advancements in both soft and gas permeable contact lenses that can really help those patients see much better. People that are presbyopic or get to where they can't read it near, those type of patients might need a multifocal contact lenses and we have lots of different options out there for, for that as well. And I fit all of those lenses.